you know, winning as much as I did, winning as many titles as I, I, I had, you know, was all just really a, a, the end result of a lot of hard work and a lot of desire to want to race and want to win. So for me, it was, you know, a delight. And if other people can actually enjoy what I did, then, then thank you for that. But for me, it was a lot of fun and, and the, the passion that I had to go motorcycle racing. Uh, I still ride occasionally, not very often, you know, mainly a scooter around town uh, and uh, I have a Honda 1000 as well, which I, I occasionally ride, uh, a naked bike. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 as you say, I, I can't slow down anyway. I still travel probably as much, if not more, than I, uh, than I, than I had been when I was competing. Um, you know, aviation is, is probably the, uh, the most visible area that, uh, that I'm, I'm involved with these days. And, um, you know, investment is, is another area, but it, it's more on a passive side. But to sit around and twiddle my thumbs for too long, I just can't do it. So, uh, you know, I enjoy keeping active and I'd imagine I'll, I'll, I'll do that for some, for some years to come. You know, being in Czech, Czechoslovakia the first time I came here, it was Czechoslovakia, now it's Czech. It was always a challenging circuit, especially for the Honda. So to have won here twice over the, over the number of years that I, uh, that I competed here, I had a couple of issues a few times, a small little crash, a couple of other minor issues. But I actually won my first, uh, my first world title here in Czech in 1994. So, so I actually have some, some, uh, some great memories and some great times both on the track and off the track and have some great Czech friends. So, you know, I enjoy coming here whenever I can and, uh, you know, look forward to coming back uh, in the near future. Look, the, the winning, winning a world championship isn't an easy task. And, um, you know, I'd had so many sort of close attempts at winning the championship prior to uh, to winning in 94, that it was a relief to win it, to be honest. The first year, it was, it was a dream come true, but it was also a relief because I'd been so close a few times and then whether or not I'd been robbed or it was an accident or whatever, but I mean, I just felt that winning in 94, it was a relief and, uh, and winning here in Czech, you know, I remember just crossing the line and, and just uh, the emotions were, were just, it was almost like a weight lifted off my back. You know, winning the second championship was, was uh, to, to prove to myself that the first one wasn't a wasn't a, a, a fluke, and I'd actually you know was able to be consistent enough to win back to back. Beyond that, it was all about winning races, and if I won enough races, the championships would take care of itself. So to win five was more than I ever thought I'd ever ever actually achieve. So you know, winning one was was the main goal, and then winning two, as I say. So to win five, you know, I'm blessed, and uh, you know, with um, uh, have a career like I had, considering it was all about just riding a dirt bike when I was a kid and having fun to end up where I've ended, uh, you know, uh, as I say, I'm blessed. You know, my son Jack, he, he uh, as you say, he's currently with the Red Bull uh, junior team um, and, and, and supporting him in his racing, I think supporting any kid in any sport, I think keeps him focused and sets goals throughout their life, and uh, which they can take on to future life, regardless whether they become a champion or not. But, uh, you know, for me being involved, and he's involved with motorsport, you know, the emotions of sport, you know, there's only, only ever high highs and low lows, there's really nothing in the middle. So, you know, see, as a father, or, you know, I'm sure of any parent of any kid competing, you know, you, you feel those emotions when your kids uh, are competing, but, uh, you know, as they get older, you've got to start to move away. But, but enjoying, enjoying the ride so far with, with young Jack throughout his career and, and watching him and hopefully watching his success has been a delight and something that I enjoy to, to do. So, um, you know, whilst he enjoys to compete and puts the pressure on himself to want to, want to be out there and want to win, then I'll support him. You know, I, I think any young, young rider, any young competitor, just needs to have the passion to want to compete, you know, and then you've got to be committed and the commitment stays all the way through like somebody like Marquez, Rossi, you know, you can never rest on your last result. It's your next result that you need to keep working for. So, you know, the work never stops, 
but that winning, the, the delight and, the, and the, the feelings you receive when you win a race is what keeps pushing you to want to win. Finishing second, you know, like I always said, was the first loser. You know, they give you a trophy for it, but you've lost, you know. So putting that little bit of extra effort in to win is, is, is worth, that, that, uh, worth the success you get at the other side. So, so really that's all I'd say is just to keep pushing. And, and never stop. You know, if you want it, you've got to keep working for it. But the but the but the the fruits at the other end are certainly certainly um, worthwhile. I'd like to say thank you. You know, I'd like to say thank you for purchasing one of the automobilist posters. It's the first one in the MotoGP line, and um, you know, along with some some legendary Formula One drivers. So, you know, it's an honor for me to be chosen to, to have that first and foremost. But, you know, I, I guess my helmet also over the years has become quite famous as the Aussie helmet or the, the Mick Doohan helmet, and they're still producing them today. So, so to, put the, to, to put it in print and uh, hopefully have them circulated, I just say thank you to anybody who purchased it and thank you to automobilists.